Here at Bright Church, we have probably about 600 regular attendees. On a Sunday, we run multiple services here, two in the morning and one at night. Um, so typically we would have about 150 attending, but yeah, up to 200. Our services comprise of worship and preaching. They're sort of our main two elements along with lots of other smaller elements. So for the most part, um, we were looking for a PA that would allow us to have a really great worship experience where we have good singers and good musicians. We wanted that to translate quite easily and smoothly, but without the mixing engineer having to really work too hard to, to get it to sound good. Mixing on the old PA was interesting. The people who were mixing always had to walk around on the floor with a tablet to try and pick the different areas to try and get the sound balance between you know, where the hot spots were, where the cold spots were, and try and find that happy medium. So there was always a lot of work you had to do with the old PA to be able to get it so it was even enough across the space as best you could. What the church was looking to do was to put a PA in that could would be a lot more easier to work with. So as they had different people mixing, they could get more of a similar result each week as opposed to one week sounding really good and one week getting a lot of complaints. I'd first heard the Berlin uh, series at a, a, a Australis Integrate stand and I was absolutely blown away the first time they cranked it up. It, it was really smooth, really clear. It was a large oversized PA for the room that was in, but it was still just nice and smooth. You didn't have to work hard to get it to sound good. For this PA, we supplied two hangs of four TurboSound Berlin TBV 12.3 AN active speakers with the Clark Technic DSPs and amplifiers in them. And we also supplied the NUQ82s for the infill speakers. Looking at the plots of the line array system, we noticed that um, with four aside, the, the, the coverage wasn't quite going to hit the front row. So the thought then was to put in infill, which would allow coverage of the front row, but then still really good coverage of the rest of the room. So when Bright Church came to me, they also wanted to upgrade their speakers in the kids' rooms as well. Uh, they were so impressed with the turbo sound, we had a look at the IQ10s and IQ15s for that space. And again, it worked so well in the space, it was really easy to use uh, and really easy to set up. So they, they went ahead and put turbo sound through, through the whole facility. When I first heard the system um, after it was installed, I was just straight away blown away by the um, depth of clarity that was there. It was just so smooth across the frequency range. The members and the leaders were all really impressed by it. It was like a whole new room. It was a whole whole new space. And yeah, it got me quite excited for, for what we could do in our worship spaces. Now that the PA's in, um, it has made a huge difference when we first did the rollout with the guys and had the guys testing it running, they were just blown away with, with how good it sounded and how easy it was for them to get a good sound out of it as well. The coverage is heaps better, the sound quality is a lot more even between the different people mixing and the different mixing styles that are here. Most of the complaints pretty much dried up once that new PA was in and, and running.